Good evening guys, John Sampson, Fish House 360. It was easy install, that baby ain't going anywhere. And I'm gonna put these babies to the test. True flush mount fashion. Came up with a really slick design. And to everybody out there that's a vet tonight, thank you for your service. And uh, get back to fishing. Good afternoon folks, John Sampson from Fish House 360 here to talk to you today about the ice defense system from Cold Nation Outdoors. As a wheelhouse owner, there are times where we will run into pesky holes that just want to freeze over when we're up fishing in really cold temperatures. I've had this happen to me at least once a year, and this ice defense system is the leading edge way to keep your holes from freezing over. Now the way the ice defense system works is unique compared to other products on the market that claim to do the same thing. It isn't just a bubbler, it isn't just an agitator, it isn't a heat source per se, but what it does is it draws warm water from down in the ice hole up through a tube driven by an impeller and pushes that water out across the surface. This action of constantly moving the water will actually melt chips of ice after you've just drilled your holes and it will prevent the hole from freezing in. Moving the water constantly across the surface and pulling that warmer water up will help to keep that ice hole open. In fact, guys will run these out on the ice in temperatures well below zero with very little cover, very little insulation over that hole, and the hole will stay open. Now the application for a wheelhouse owner is very simple. I run hole sleeves, I run hole sleeve insulators, I run frame skirts, wheel skirts, and I bank my house. And when it's 40 below and blowing 30 miles an hour, I still have issues with my windward side holes freezing over. In those cases, employing a system like the ice defense system is gonna ensure that that hole stays open. What that's gonna do for me is give me confidence that my rattle reel line isn't gonna freeze in, that my hole isn't gonna close up, and that I'm not gonna to have to constantly chip ice or have that hole closing in on me while I'm out for an extended period of time fishing. 